Okay, so we're going to show you how to do the uh, cold cap system from Penguin Cold Caps. We don't work for the company, we just want to help people out here. So here's Renee, she's in her fourth treatment. As you can see, a lot of hair on her. And uh, so she's got the, the cap on, so we're going to show you a little bit how this works. So we've got a cooler here. Um, it's like a little uh, va vapor barrier. We got that from like, I don't know, the diet of chocolate that came in the mail. Um, so what we have here is we have about 50 pounds of dry ice. She picked that up the day before. Try to keep it in the bags so it doesn't off-gas as much and it's easier to handle. So basically if you look inside the cooler here, so look inside the cooler here, um, you know, we've got layers of ice. So just to kind of show you how we've done this. So you put uh, a piece and a half in the bottom. You take the, uh, the first cold cap, put it on the bottom, kind of tuck it in, make sure that it gets tucked in and, and good that way. Second one goes face up, white side up. Piece of dry ice, one and a half, and then the next one goes in, face down, and then if there was four of them in the beginning, that would go face up in another layer of dry ice. But what we've done is we've already got this cap ready to be put on. I'll show you that when we get done here. So, we take it out of the cooler, and, and if you look at it, we want to keep the condensation off of it because it can actually you know, get, get really cold underneath there. So we grab our temperature gun, make sure, you, uh, make sure that's in your kit, you always want to have that, and we want to check the temperature. Like right now, it's negative 38 degrees, a little warm here right now, this is negative 40 negative 37, 33. We want it to be about 30, 35 degrees, negative 35 degrees Celsius. So if you need, so like these areas were a little warm and you can see they're, they're a little harder. So if we want to cool those down a little bit, you put your towel over it because you want it to be sterile. And you know, you just kind of kind of warm it up a little bit and knead it in there. Try to get that down to the right temperature. What we've learned is, I'll show you when we repack the cooler, but if you do it just right, you can almost not have to do any of that. It's just ready to go. So if you look at it, negative 30, 34. So we're, we're good. That one's a little bit, it's negative 25. So this one's going to go on the head now. So uh, take your gloves off for this. Want to make sure that there's no condensation. We've got these. These are the wraps that you'll see later. All right, so we got Renee here. This is a single strap. We're going to take her first cap off. All right, we set that aside. It's, the kit comes with three straps, and we only use the one. I'll show you. So this is the this is the actually a very crucial strap here. This one keeps it everything in. So when I'm done, I usually like fold the ears in like this, and then I just fold it over like that, and get it ready to go back into the cooler. Put that aside. And we've already been to the hospital today, so we actually drove home, came home. We had one change on the way home since it was rush hour. And, you know, it's not that big a deal to change on the road, so don't make it a big deal. Pull off, change it, and then get back on the road. We had it one time where we had to change it twice. Um, so what Renee here has is she's got some uh, pads to keep her ears from freezing. And I also pull my hair over my ears for extra. Yep. So I'm going to take this off. Kind of the easy way to do this is you just grab them from each end there and pull it off. You'll notice she's got a hairnet on. There's all kinds of ways to do it, and we'll get to that in a minute. But you want and to do it. And then I have um, a uh, maxi pad underneath this, but it wasn't it wasn't enough insulation, so I put the moleskin over that. Right. Yep. And we'll get into that. But the key is you want to get that next cap on quickly because you're trying to stay cold here. So what you want to do is put the chin strap on. Nice and tight, put the chin strap on nice and tight, up underneath, okay? And what we do is we push it down the front, and you get these front pieces on first. You kind of get the cap to, to mold there. All right, now what she does is she holds it up from the top. I come around the back here, and I push this side in, because you want it to be tight to the head. I, I put the bottom one in first. Somebody, some people say to do the top, I like to do the bottom. And you just make sure that that's pushed in. You know, I wouldn't recommend wearing a hoodie. Last time she had a hoodie on and it was kind of gotten away. So you just kind of 
put that tight and put that tight like that. So now the cap's on, and that's the first step. Okay, and then what we want to do, come around the front here, is we take this. This is where she looks up. This one's still, it's really humid here today. So she looks up, and you want this to be over the hairline here. See, there's a lot of hair exposed, exposed there. So these are also really cold. Bring it over the top like that, okay? And then this is where the strap comes in. It follows the line of the strap you just put on. So there's no need to, and you just bring it up to give it extra tightness. And you want to really snug that up. You want it to be nice and tight. Okay, so now the cap is on. Um, I set my timer for about 25, 27 minutes. And then I just know to start the process over again. All right, so let's take a look at a couple things here. Um, if you look at what we've got here, so this is just trying to make it easy for you. So she's really concerned about keeping her hair like a lot of you would probably would be. Um, so there's a few things we did. So the shampoo she uses is some Swimmers Wellness. Buys it on Amazon, Malibu Swimmers Wellness. She also uses this uh, Caviar Moisture Conditioner. She got it on Amazon, 30, 30 bucks. So that's what she does when it's just normal out. When it's real humid, she uses this stuff, uh, Kevin Murphy, Smooth, whatever these two are. Yeah, so she one's a rinse, one's a wash, and always cold water. We also got this hair softener thing. I don't know, it's like 100 bucks or so, $150, $200. 250 250 but take a look at it. You can buy it on Amazon or local place. They recommend this type of comb. Um, she actually uses this Wet Brush Pro. Uh, Epic Professional got it on Amazon. She actually liked that better than a comb. And then we have extra batteries. This is a kit that we travel with. Obviously, we're not traveling with shampoo, but just to show you guys, that's just in case the batteries on your um, laser go out. And then there's a couple different schools here. We were using moleskin to start with. Uh, we created a template for her forehead, and we just cut out four of them because she had four treatments. But then we heard, you know, that the adhesive can sometimes pull your skin off. So... Uh, we actually went with the, the Always Ultra Thin, I think it's like the medium size maxi pad. The adhesive isn't as strong, so we cut that out to the same profile. And, you know, kind of here's some things how they would recommend it from cold caps. And you stick that on. We put a layer of moleskin as well just to give her extra thermal, and it works really well. Uh, she had a hairnet. They also recommend this stretch net stuff that you get at CVS, and that works pretty well too. She seemed to like the hairnet from Ulta Beauty Supply. And then... For her ears, some people use the maxi pads, but she actually liked these. So she actually would put those up underneath her ears and help you from frostbite because any exposed skin you're going to get frostbite from. So you just got to make sure that that stays clear. Also, your part. So let's show you how we pack the cooler back. So now we've already changed the cap out. We've set our timer. So now we just uh, get it back into the bag here. I'm going to grab my towel just one second here. I'm going to grab my towel, make sure there's no condensation on it. I'm going to flip this over and put it back in the bag. Now, in the beginning, they tell you about labeling the bags and doing all this other stuff. And, you know, we did that at first. I think I set like 50 alarms in my phone, and you don't need to do that. Notice here how the gel has actually kind of moved to the front. So what you want to do before you put it in the bag is just kind of reposition the gel because when this stuff gets to negative 50 degrees, uh, you're not moving it. All right, so you put that back in the bag. And then this is the rotation you do the rest of the day. So there's never four caps in the cooler anymore because one's on her head, obviously. So I just kind of put that aside. Make sure you have a towel kind of next to it because, you know, you're putting dry ice down. All right. So I'll lift the cooler out. Always handle the dry ice with gloves. So I'll put the gloves back on. And this process just kind of goes like this. Take out the ice. So one and a half blocks. And so this is where your, your coldest cap is this one here because it was actually in the bottom for a, a while. You moved it up. Now this is the one ready to go. So I put that one out. Uh, they say don't keep it in the bag, but as long as you I like to take it out of the bag and set it aside because then I know that's the cap I'm using because sometimes you can get confused. I take the one that was on the bottom. I set it aside. The one that just came off of her head now goes to the bottom. There's a, there's a bag and a half of ice here. One thing I noticed is the carbon monoxide is kill, was killing me before, but now that I kept it in the bag, it's a lot better, so 
make sure not to breathe it in because you're not supposed to breathe in carbon monoxide just like right there. Okay, plug, kind of want to move the cap around the ice. You want it to really kind of get to the ice and, you know, get that nice and cold. The cap that was just on the bottom, if I move up a layer, set it white side up, and then another layer of ice right on top. Okay, so one, one and a half layers of ice. All right, then you've got the next cap. Okay, that's the one that we're gonna actually use. So I'll put that in there like that. I'll put the plastic bag over it. I'll put another layer of ice. Now, I'll also just kind of feel to see like how the, the sides are. The sides are always a little cooler than the middle, always. So I noticed that these sides are a little cooler, uh, or not as cool, so I'll kind of concentrate my ice on those side areas. And this is the, actually the cap that's gonna start naturally cooling down as we, uh, as we um, get ready for the next one. So this is the side I think that's most important. So I put that face down, face down, and then they, you can also, if you wanna really get it in there, you kinda of can put it on the side here as well. Just, you just wanna make sure there's one of those things coming out like ultra cold. So I do that. Actually, I noticed that this one's not as cold, so I'm gonna put that there and have that one straight on the ice. And then I use my, my vapor barrier there. Just kind of keeps it a little bit colder, close it up, and then we sit and hang out for 15, 20 minutes until the next change, and you do this for pretty much eight and a half hours. We're chemo ended at 5.30 tonight, and so we're gonna go till 10, because you have to go four and a half hours after chemo. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, hope that's helpful to you and we just want to help other people having to go through this. Thank you.